Galistio back at it again. This image is a few months old, but as you know, I've been haven't really tested out images for a while now, and so I picked this one up, and I was pleasantly surprised. For those of you who don't know, I've done his images in the past, and I've actually put him in my top five. Uh, best images. This is a 32 gigabyte version. I'm going to also check out a 64 gigabyte version, but for today, let's go ahead and check out the 32. 32 is a great size because you can get 32 gigabyte SD cards for under $10 these days. So it's a really cheap, tight thing. The reason to say tight is, you know, you don't have to just slam it with all these games. You can really select and have still tons of the earlier consoles, but when it comes to CD-based games, you have to be a little more uh, selective. But as I mentioned, retro gamers, cheap gamers, they want good fun, and this is one of those images. It comes fully packed. It does have a little bit of Portuguese things to start, but he's done way more strides as far as getting it ready out of the box and giving you really easy instructions to hit start on your controller and change those things. So with uh, thousands and thousands of games, very tight image, an image creator who's been building off. He's claiming 99% of all the ROMs on this thing work flawlessly or work. I don't know if he said, he didn't ever said flawlessly or they're tested and working. Um, so with all this said, let's go ahead and jump into this one. So when you do first boot up, you want to go ahead and use your D-pad first, hit up, down, left, right, and then left analog stick, just up and left, and up and left, and then right analog stick, up and left. Then you got your A, B, X, and Y. Then you have your start and select. Then you have your L and R. And then you have your L2 and R2. These are your bumpers and your triggers. And then L3 is just clicking in your left analog stick and then clicking in your right analog stick and then select for the hotkey. Um, I went ahead and hit start. I went to the second one down, um, which is configuration of the system. Go down to I idioma and this is the language. It is stock in Portuguese. But the cool thing about this image is we can get it to English. We can get everything to English, most things. So you go ahead and do that. And then um, it should prompt you to say, do you want to restart? And then you press OK here. And now your recall box has restarted. So that was just a fast forward. Now um, I'm just messing around in the main menu here. I really like recall box. Something else I want to do is turn off the background music. So you just scroll down to front end music and go ahead and turn that off. It does have pre-installed background music on this image. One last thing I did here was hit start, go to UI settings, go down to theme, and then here um, a couple down, you go to theme configuration, the fourth of it down, then go to theme region and change this to English, and it won't actually reboot, but you'll notice now that the theme went from uh, Portuguese to now it says it's English, so it says this 16-bit, this 32x, so um, that changes everything now in this image except for there are some portuguese titles um just like there's japanese titles in here as well like other images but other than that in cave story here um the majority of it is now in english and um it's good to go so once you fix all those things you should have a screen similar to mine i haven't played too much with the other themes but do know you can go into ui settings and change a bunch of the themes there's a, there's another theme cell recall box next and then you can also configure the themes as far as the game list view the system view the icon view and the color set so there's additional um you know uh customization that you can do let's go ahead and go through some of these systems game boy advance 1236 games it's a lot there's gonna be some rare games in there some hacks in there as well game boy color 547 game and watch 53 and television 159 lutro you got nine paperboy you got 76 mame arcade almost 2000 mame games he's got little folders here to start and um so they're nicely organized and um that is really cool what he did with the folders. Huge arcade set that he claims 100% tested main games. Um, Sega Master System 492, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, almost 1,200 games. So here's your, uh, he has 103 games right here that are Brazilian releases. And then he has Japanese games here, the Mega Drive. And then everything in between is going to be your American and your American hacks. MSX Turbo R, 659, Nintendo 64, 100, Neo Geo, 211, um, and he's got 36 Neo Geo hack games, so some cool Metal Slug variations, some SNK vs. Capcom uh, variations, King of Fighters variations, so that could be kind of fun to check out. Nintendo, 1,500 games. 
because he includes Dynavision 92 games and 172 Brazilian games, and then he's also going to include some hacked and rarity games as well. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 82, Odyssey 116, PC Engine 290, Doom games. So he has Doom, Doom 2, he has all the, the uh, DOS versions of Doom in there. PSP 5 games, it's actually only 2, I don't know why it's showing up 5, maybe those are there's 5 files in there, but Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Metal Slug XX. PlayStation, only eight games. I mean, what do you expect with a 32 gigabyte SD card? But he's, he's got Road Rash. He's got the Marvel Combats. He's got Marvel vs. Capcom, which, again, is also in the Dreamcast folder as all. You can play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And then he's got the Crash Bandicoots. Uh, Satellaview, 63. Sega 32X, 37. Uh, Sega CD 2. It's interesting that the this is messed up. The Sega CD has a 32X box art. But there's only two games in there because, again, CD-based games take up a lot of space. SG-1000, 68. Super Nintendo, 1231. Wow, again, there should be folders in here. 133 of those are Brazilian. 219 of those are Japanese. And then you're going to have your American games. Probably some hacks in there as well. Sufami, 14. Super Graphics 5, Vetrix 71. Virtual Boy, 26. Wonder Swan, 112. Wonder Swan Color, 91. Favorites 123, Amstrad CPC 357, Atari 2600, 644, 5200, 73, 7800, 64. Cave Story, this is where the game kind of sucks. It's a Brazilian version. It's not a huge game, but um, just so you know, you probably want to just nix that. You can always take it off the menu easily. Coley, Co, Vision 155, Dreamcast, just one game, but within the game, there's five games. It comes with Street Fighter 2, 3, Capcom vs. SNK, Puzzle Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So Capcom, the CP system, um, some really cool games in there. And then the first one, oh, he has some hacks. So pretty cool. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs hack. Uh, just Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2 hacks. Um, some other Street Fighter hats. Street Fighter 0 hacks. Punisher, Punisher Japanese version. Cool. All right. Um, Family Disc System 232, Game Gear 263, Game Boy 491, and then we're back at Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance also had those 155 games in uh, Portuguese that I didn't mention earlier. So that's your image. Um, this is running, uh, What? let's go ahead and double check which um, what we're running on. It's 6.1 Dragon Blaze. The thing, it's easy to update. The other thing is cool about this is it's really easy to overclock as well, advanced setting overclock. I'm on the stock clock right now. By the way, this also has a like a custom Kodi installed on it, so that could be fun for any of you using this as a media uh, system as well. Um, it also comes with some pre-installed background music, but I went ahead and disabled that. So let's go ahead and try out some games. You see me play a lot of these games. Let's go ahead and try to find, let's go through his favorites. Let's see what he's got in here. So I played a lot of these before, Sega... So, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, great game. Let's go ahead and launch that up. Put in some tokens. Very nice. Let's go ahead and be Jack over here. 2513, after coronavirus. You want some of this, bro? I'm gonna hit this, get some money. Get off me, bro. What's he doing? Grabbing his head? Can you slide if you hit down? No sliding. Damn, he's just like, get out of my way, door. Don't mess with me, door. Uh, can we hit these? Nice, I got a salad in there. Looks like a, um, looks like a cob salad, except no, I didn't see any bacon in there. Definitely saw the egg, though. You guys like egg in your salad? Damn, son. What now? How does that not kill him? How does a shotgun blast to the chest not kill him? Well, okay, let's pick up this. Um... Oh, these guys are just made with bulletproof glass. Bro, how's this guy not dead? All right, cool. Let's do this. Through the window down the door all right cool so that's running so i was mistaken he did include video snaps pretty darn cool on a 32 gig really well done and um 
Nintendo 64 is playing really good. These are all some really good games that he chose out. A lot of good metal slugs. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I played that game from start to finish. Great game. Pit Fighter, Power Instinct 1 and 2. He likes Road Rash, which is cool. A lot of Street Fighter, Streets of Rage, some Nintendo, some Mario, and some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, this is really cool if you like like um, Capcom vs. SNK, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, really good fighting games, and X-Men Arcade game. And then, ooh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Great throw in there. Great, great game. Gonna like that one. I like the Super Nintendo version. There's a Sega version as uh, as well. Oh, and he has two version, the four-player and the two-player version of the Simpsons arcade game. Cool, cool, cool. Got him. Later, kid. All right, start select out of there. We got Pong. Oh, did you guys see that? I did. I don't think that should have counted. If you hit the analog sticks, it actually goes pretty fast. Now I'm effed. I can't get these. Ugh. See, that's not good. It's a frustrating game. Diddy Kong Racing. All right, let me give you my uh, my final thoughts as I'm. Uh, Getting ready for some Diddy Kong Racing. Um, really good work, 32 gigabyte, very tight image. To his point, he did fix a lot of the issues that people had with his image before. You're still gonna find a few of the games that be in Portuguese, like the Cave Story, but the majority of the games on the system are all set up for you Americans, for you English speakers. Um, Bunch of extra theme sets installed. He did, he did give some rarity games. Uh, Tanglewood, Sakari Remastered, Alex the Kid 2. I want to do tracks. Um, Alex the Kid 3, Star Fox. I mean, Star Fox 2. I mean, everyone puts that on their images now. Micro Mages. 16-bit uh, Rhythm Land, Coffee Crisis. Lethal Wedding, Magic Pockets, Tanzer, Ultra Core, Xeno Crisis. And uh, among some other um, classics. It does have Cody Viking. I haven't really messed with Cody in this video. But um, that's always a nice add-on to have. It has the overclock scripts. This N64 is running some very low res. But that's fine because it's definitely very playable. Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. I was trying to get that. Uh-oh, there's a dinosaur here, bro. Is there a jump button? It's just a honk horn. I keep thinking it's like Mario Kart. There's a jump button. But uh, can you hit both of these? Okay, I guess not. Later, kid. Oh. Um. So. That's really cool. These images run really well. Um, that's something that I've mentioned about his images before. His images has made my top three uh, best images. Um, when you get past the whole language barrier thing, he makes a good image. Like I've said this in the past and I'll say it again. Um, now with the Raspberry Pi 4 hitting the scene though, I just, you know, maybe a little less people are going to be interested. But, um, you know, it's... Um, it's still a great image, and uh, evidently he went through 99% of the games and tested them. Over 100% of the main games on here have been tested, so a nice arcade set. Um, some good collections. It looks good. Um, like I said, it's tight at the 32. So with all that said, I'm going to give it an A. Great choice for Raspberry Pi 3 uh, B, B plus image. Um, I like all the options. Just some small things you got to do when you first boot up. I'll give it an A. It would get an A plus, right? If it was just like out of the box, ready to go. But because of those little out of the box things you had to fix, and because there's some stuff like Cave Story, as I mentioned, there's that. 
But with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.